With 19 of 29 games at the BMO Harris Bradley Center this season, the Golden Eagles enjoy the comfort of home more often than not. But for the other 10 games, the show must hit the road. That's why when Marquette travels, the accommodations are as inviting as possible. It means a lot. It, it, it means a lot because, you know, on the road, you, you want those guys to feel comfortable. They have to, they have to feel comfortable uh, with everything around them, their surroundings, um, you know, because if not, the smallest little thing can, you know, believe it or not, can't can throw them off, so. To get from city to city, the Golden Eagles charter a 737, allowing for maximum flexibility of travel and for maximum comfort while inside. Upon arrival, the Golden Eagles board the bus to the hotel while team managers unpacked the charter. At the hotel, a familiar voice guides the way. Barb okay. Kelleher is floor. the team's okay. director of administration. Along with her daughter, Allison, the Kellehers coordinate every trip for the Golden Eagles. I feel like if you have, you know, 19, 21 year olds and your whole livelihood is depending on it and depending on the outcome, and there's nothing that we won't do uh, to make sure that they're comfortable and they're happy so that they can win and, you know, we all win in, in return. The team's hotel command center is set and the food is waiting for the players, which puts everyone in a good mood. It is some, uh, some thought behind it and, and some science behind it as well. But, and, you know, like we wouldn't have Chinese food for the pregame meal or Mexican food for the pregame meal, you know, making sure it's, it's, it's uh, protein and, and a lot of carbs and, you know, and, and, and stuff of, of, of that nature uh, for the pregame meal. And while the players fuel up and share a laugh, they're grateful for what they have. It's delicious. It's delicious. Huh? It's delicious. Shout out to Barb Allison. Yeah, I mean, they've got so much going on, study hall, games, you know, being a student, athlete, all of that stuff. And so for us, you know, we just try and be that even keeled person that, you know, just puts a little, if, if, a, if a Twizzler brightens their day or a cupcake <laughs> and the whole plane sings happy birthday, you know, that's just our little two cents yeah. that we can kind of contribute to the group. Hey, come on. on game day, the shoot around is a short practice intended to get bodies in motion and minds on the awaiting task. Not strenuous, but key to the preparation process. We get them in the gym and we get them out, uh, make sure they get a good stretch. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll make sure we get, they get accustomed to shooting on those baskets, the lighting, um, and then we'll, you know, we'll go through our offense and then prepare for them a little, you know, a little bit. But, uh, you know, and then in the hotel, we do, we'll, we'll watch film the day of um, that, that afternoon. We'll watch a little film on them and, and just continue to prepare for them. All in on three. Yeah. One, two, three. All in. Let's go, fellas. After shoot around, freshman Sakar Anum focuses on his classwork and completing assignments that he can send back to Milwaukee. Has she ever emailed you something before? For his roommate, Luke Fisher, the focus is on rest. Travel is a matter of routine now for Luke. It's, it's pretty routine. Um, you know, we're usually at the same hotels in the same cities. Um, and, you know, especially coming out to the East Coast like this, I mean, this is like our, you know, third or fourth time already this year, you know, being, you know, New Jersey or New York. So, uh, you know, you get used to, you know, seeing all the same stuff. And, uh, but, you know, that's kind of a good thing because, you know, you don't want to, you don't want anything, you know, any big changes at all throughout the season. And while there is comfort, in the routine of a pregame meal, Luke and the Golden Eagles can still be surprised. So we're here setting up jerseys and setting up the lockers early. So when the guys get here, they can get here and see like a home locker room. We've never done this before. And so we decided to try it. So this is our first time trying it. Hopefully it goes well. And uh, they respond well. The guys seem excited about it. Having a, a good routine is very, very important. Um, 
for these guys on the road. Sure, I mean, travel, no matter how you're traveling, whether it's private or commercial, it can be chaotic. And like, for instance, in New York, when we got snowed in, they didn't understand that, man, Barb and Allison's got to figure out, hey, can we stay an extra night? Okay, we're going to need an extra night. Now we need more meals. And so ha having those two uh, around, they've been through it plenty of times. Uh, every day when we walk into the El Maguire, do we not walk into the best <laughs> jobs ever? I'm serious. We really do. We do. We, uh, we do. <laughs> <laughs>